Hello everyone, you're now with me, Ruben Gomez for TVS News at 5. Let's move on to the news. Right, the effort to improve the quality of Sarawakian craft, especially Songket, will be continued. Chief Minister Dato' Patinggi Abang Johari Tun Openg said the Sarawak Songket will be nominated under the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization's 2003 Convention, UNESCO, to earn international recognition. He added, UNESCO recognition will positively impact the arts in Sarawak and at the same time elevate the traditional craft to a higher level. Dan saya harap intangible benefit ini sudah tentu akan memberi kesan yang sangat positif di dalam kita nak membangunkan seni kerap yang terdapat di negeri Sarawak. He said this during the inaugural Sarawak Music Fashion Galore, SAMFAC 2020, in Kuching. Abang Johari added, Sarawak government have and will always support the crafts industry through the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. Kerjaan kita memang mendokong, memberi sokongan melalui Kementerian Datuk Karim kepada pihak-pihak NGO yang ingin nak menaikkan kualiti dan juga hasil kerah kita. An intangible cultural heritage center ICH is being set up in Sarawak. According to Sarawak Minister of Tourism, Art, Culture, Youth and Sports, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, ICH aims to safeguard and document the state's rich cultural heritage. Karim says, with its multicultural diversity, Sarawak is rich in intangible cultural heritage such as oral traditions and expressions, performing arts, rituals, social practices, festive events, traditional craftsmanship and nature-centric practices, hence the need for preservation. ICH is an initiative under the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization aimed at recording on video the intangible cultural heritage in Southeast Asian countries. Dan global sebagai pusat dokumentasi warisan seni dan juga budaya. Abdul Karim praised the efforts by ICH in helping to properly document Sarawak's rich cultural heritage and contributing information and materials, saying that the government is fully supporting the initiative as it helps to promote the state's cultural ties by gathering experts in their respective fields and providing a platform for exchange of information and Saya amat optimis bahawa warisan seni budaya Sarawak akan melanjak dan dikenali bukan sahaja dalam negara tapi juga di peringkat serantau dan juga peringkat global. A great milestone for Sarawak sport where Sarawak will build an international standard sports academy fully equipped with the latest technology. In future, the academy will help groom the state's youth into world-class athletes. Chief Minister Dato' Petinggi Abang Johari Tun Openg said, Sarawak is also committed to further expand the development of youths in the state, in line with its mission to become a developed state by 2030. We are looking at what has happened in New Zealand. New Zealand is a country that is yang pun populasian yang 4 juta tapi dengan latihan yang telah diberi kepada para belia mereka mereka menjadi champion dalam coklat olimpik kenapa? kerana pusat latih, latihannya adalah terkini jadi saya dan rakan-rakan dalam kerjaan Sarawak telah bersetuju untuk mewujudkan Sport Academy dengan harga yang boleh tahan di warah. Jadi kita laksanakan dasar itu. Ini semuanya untuk belia. He said this in his speech during the state-level 2020 Youth Day celebration at the Asajaya Sports Complex in Samarahan.
This year's Youth Day celebration team, Belia Pamacu Transformasi Digital Sarawak, involves students from schools as well as public and private institutions of higher learning, as well as members of the public aged between 15 and 40. Right, welcome back. COVID-19 infections in several states are now in a steady decline. Therefore, the federal government has decided to end the conditional movement control order in most states. Senior Minister for Security Cluster, Dato Sui Ismail Sabri Yaakob, said the decision was made after considering the current and expected impact on the economic recovery if the CMCO was to be extended. Dijangkakan KDNK negara akan kerugian kehilangan sebanyak 300 juta ringgit sehari jika PKPB diteruskan. Ini sekaligus akan mengakibatkan kemerosotan pasaran buruh dan penurunan perbelanjaan isi rumah, peningkatan ketidaktentuan pelaburan, kehilangan pekerjaan tetap, penutupan perniagaan dan lain-lain kesan sama ada secara langsung ataupun secara tidak langsung. Oleh sebab itu, kerajaan berhati-hati dan perlu mempertimbangkan semua aspek di dalam rangka sebarang pendekatan bagi mewujudkan keseimbangan antara menjaga kesihatan awam dan kesan terhadap ekonomi. That being said, the CMCO for Kuala Lumpur and Selangor will be extended until December 20 following the increased case in COVID-19 cases. Meanwhile, Sabah Bernam, Hulu Selangor and Kuala Selangor will return to the recovery MCO. Isma Sabri said the CMCO in Kulim Kedah that was supposed to end tomorrow will be extended until December 20. Overall in Sarawak, two clusters had ended last Saturday, which are the Baki Cluster and Selada Cluster in Kuching. The Sarawak Economic Development Corporation, SEDC, is planning to capitalise on local tourism. This will help to boost the state's tourism sector as well as occupancy rates in its hotels and attractions around the state. Managing Director, Tourism Hospitality Division, Mark James Ferguson, said the initiatives are aimed at revitalising hotel industries and enable the players to mitigate the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mark Ferguson said the SCDC has been entrusted by the state government to not only develop tourism products in the state but also the construction of new hotels and upgrade existing ones as part of the state government's effort to collaborate with the private tourism sector. Meanwhile, SCDC Chairman Tan Sri Abdul Aziz also highlighted renovation works by SCDC last year, which included refurbishment and upgrading works for 239 rooms and corridors, third floor function rooms, and other renovations to the Puchi Wing of the Riverside Majestic Hotel in Kuching. CDC also carried out renovation works to the Grand Margarita Hotel and Sarawak Plaza Shopping Complex, the Sunset Ballroom Foyer at Damai Beach Resort, and the upcoming renovation to the Damai Lagoon Resort and Spa. SEDC is also expected to invest substantially to develop the Damai Peninsula into a major tourist destination based on the tourism master plan to develop the location with new attractions and other development initiatives. The development plan of Damai Resort City included several projects such as construction of new resorts, theme parks, cable cars, jungle trails and trekking facilities, wellness and health enclaves, marina and commercial and residential properties. Representing the land of hornbills internationally through Sarawak Songket, Fashion designers expressed their pride and joy through their fashion collections during the inaugural Sarawak Music Fashion Galore 2020. Okay, uh, sebagai designer Sarawak yang dijemput untuk memperagakan koleksi saya dengan menggunakan songket-songket Sarawak, saya rasa macam uh, sangat berbangga because uh, kita nak memartabatkan songket Sarawak di mata dunia. Jadi saya uh, tampil dengan koleksi saya yang modern, sophisticated dan boleh diterima di uh, bukan saja di Malaysia tapi di luar negara. Di mana dalam rekaan saya, saya um, menggunakan motif songket, uh, motif rose duduk iaitu motif asli Sarawak. 
Sarawak yang hanya terdapat di Sarawak. Jadi yang itu saya tampilkan dalam rekan-rekan saya. Tapi diolah dengan menjadi moden. So, uh, susah sikit because si banyak orang yang mulah benda ya. And then yang mahal. Mahal nang macam uh, ni oh. Nya... Bahan-bahan yang macam benangnya susah di di dioleh. Di... You believe that? Tetapi kita kena ada usaha uh, untuk uh, mewar-warkan ataupun how are we going to expose uh, Songket. I think it shouldn't stop here. Uh, we need to do more uh, untuk kita expose Songket uh, keluar daripada Malaysia. Right, that's conclude our TBS News at 5. Remember, the war on COVID haven't ended yet. So remember always to adhere to SOP, no matter where you go, always follow the physical distancing and remember the nightline tonight, Ruben Gomez, anytime, anywhere. Thank you.